Hello again, everybody. My name is Dale Dufay, and this is Mary the Magnificent. How are you doing, Mary, on this Monday morning? I'm doing good, guys. Had doctor's appointment first thing this morning, and then came right to H2. Right, because we got a lot of work to do. Yep. Uh, what did we do yesterday? Started, the, we got, went and picked up the material for the... The, all the woodwork, right? Yeah, all the woodwork. All the woodwork. And that was a lot of material. I mean, it yeah. packed a truck. I mean, it was fully loaded. In fact, <laughs> we had a cop almost, uh, like, he was, <laughs> he's, like, really checking out our load, but he almost went off the road looking in his rear view mirror. It was funny. <laughs> but uh, that's how heavy a load we got. And then after we unloaded it and everything and got it all, uh, why don't we take a look at the order, what what's there? Uh, <laughs> What's what's left? I mean, we got started on it yesterday already, and, and already put a huge dent in the pile. Here's the storage area, but there's the doors and uh, the closet doors, and there's all the baseboard. Uh, a lot of the casing we already pulled in into the house, but that's the baseboard doors, uh, casing, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. Uh, that's what we picked up yesterday, doors. and then we took we, we had like a. Like, well, how many? I forgot how many one by fours, but a lot of one by fours. And what we did is, uh, is we like to do everything like make it a kit first and then put it up. And what we did is we took all these windows are identical, there's uh, 11 of them that are identical. So, what we do is like we like make like a manufacturing process which works really well. And here's our test window here. This is what all the windows are going to look like when they're finished casing and see isn't that nice it's got the uh, the four and a half inch sill and then uh, you know the nice apron underneath it which is basically a, a piece of baseboard uh, two and a half inches wide that we put upside down and see how we return the ends into themselves uh, that's really nice that's how every window is going to be so once we had that determined then we know exactly how wide you know, to make the, the sill, how high to make the jams, how wide to make the tether jam, and how, you know, exactly how to cut all the casing and everything. So what we did is we made a kit, kits. There's all the other remaining windows. Uh, here's all the, the sills right here. And then the, the top jam, side jams, uh, left side casing, right side casing, and then the top casing, and then here's some more jam material. Uh, uh, so that's so we have them all, eleven windows, ready to assemble just like that. Except we have to, we uh, were running out of time yesterday. This is getting dark and late, so we got to we still have to make pre-make all the apron pieces. Again, that's this part right here. Uh, so we have to make uh, eleven of those plus the three. We call these specialty windows. There's three windows that are different. Uh, Baby window. We got the tall escape windows here. Uh, they're, they're a different width on the jam and everything. And then we're gonna use the full five and a half inch for the window sill on those tall windows so the cats can sit on them, right? Cause Dewey's so fast. <laughs> and then here's the baby window. We only did the jam only because uh, once the jam's together, then we'll know exactly how, how big the casing's gotta be. And again, here, we, here on these windows, we know how big the casing's got to be or the length of the casing because we made one and it fits that, you know, particular unit will fit in every single one of these openings. So that's what's neat is we assemble these first. You don't take each piece and put it up on the window and assemble it. We assemble it literally on the ground or at least that one we did. We assembled it fully on the ground, casing and all, and then placed it into the opening, just like putting up yeah. a picture. Like putting a picture. And it was that easy. And then these outer nails here, uh, which are 16 gauge, uh, holds the whole unit in, in, in place. Uh, and I put uh, literally three in each side, three across the top. And then three on the other side. And then on the inside, so there's nothing. Yeah, that way you don't have to put any nails on the jam whatsoever, because uh, it was already pre-assembled and it's all super strong. Uh, you know, it's all real solid. We and of course we insulated around the window first before we put it in. 
uh, like for example here, uh, make sure we get the insulation in there. Uh, and it, but so it's going to work out. So that's what we're going to do next is simply yeah. assemble the remaining 10 identical windows uh, and then put them in. <laughs> and been, so literally by the end of the day, we'll have all the windows mounted and placed in ready to putty the holes. And in fact, I'm so impressed with the how tight everything turned out that I may not even caulk, you know, generally... Uh, you caulk along the outer edge here. Uh, of course, if I did, you know, we would spray one coat first on the woodwork, uh, which would, in, in, a, in a sense, uh, you know, prime the drywall. And then we can caulk it at that point before the final coat. But uh, I don't think I even need to. Generally, uh, sometimes you have to caulk everywhere uh, because of gaps and everything. But everything's so tight that I might not caulk anything. <laughs> Uh, just putty the holes uh, and then we're gonna of course we'll have to mask off the windows the vinyl part that's showing which isn't much as you can see uh, and then we're gonna spray uh, spray all the woodwork it's gonna be fantastic it's gonna uh, look just amazing and also uh, not only is this way faster and more efficient but it's also uh, more perfect it's more it's a better way to do it and it turns out, you know, more perfect. Same with the spraying when we do the paint. You know, not only will it make the yeah. painting look awesome, it'll be faster, faster. That's it. That's what we're trying to achieve here. And then right after we get the, the windows in, then we'll finish off the casing on the doors, hand, like these doors. We'll put the casing on the outside here. And then we'll hang the pre-hung doors, put the casing on them. Uh, and then the, the, the final part of the woodwork is the baseboard. Uh, and then we'll run, which we showed you out in the storage area. We got all that baseboard, 12 feet footers, and we'll put that all down. And then we'll have all the base shoe pre-cut and ready to go for when we put the floor in. After everything's painted, after all the mess is done, we're going to put our brand new floor in and then put the base shoe down. And of course, we'll keep... Uh, recording our progress, you know, like maybe do some time lapse perhaps of us assembling the windows. Yeah. We'll, we'll try to do that because uh, we're going to set up a table right here in the middle of this room here and then s uh, simply assemble the windows. And it goes real quick. Once we got, once we had the, everything figured out, it went real yeah. quick, you know. And then being 11 identical windows, we got the first one all figured out. Then the remaining 10 is a can of corn. Yeah. <laughs> as as a, it's an old school saying, uh, but we're kind. Of, we were really excited about getting all that material yesterday, and yes, uh, it was awesome. It was a beautiful day. We were able to load up everything, get it over here. Today it's supposed to rain, which is fine with us because yep. we're going to be inside yeah. the cutting. Let's show them where we did all that. We could have cut everything outside, but we set up a really nice setup where we just vacuumed. Uh, you know, use the vacuum. Uh, this is the nice saw that was donated to us. Uh, thanks to all you donors out yeah. there. Uh, but Mary's set up a really cool uh, reducer here because the vacuum hose is two inches and then the, the outlet on the saw is an inch and a half. So we had to reduce it and make it tight. And Mary took a plumbing pipe and some tape and did just that. So when we're using this, we hook up the saw or vacuum and, and uh, turn it on every time we're using it. And this thing was cooking yesterday, wasn't it? Yep. We were just, I don't know how many cuts we made, literally <laughs> hundreds. And then we had to rip everything down. All them jam pieces had to be ripped down because they were, what, uh, three and a half inches and we had to rip them down to three yep. inches. Uh, so this thing was going like crazy. I mean, it was it was even setting off the fire alarm. <laughs> we had to, <laughs> had to turn it off. But it, the, it too has an outlet where we can hook up uh, the vacuum, which gets about 80% of the dust, I think. Um, but if you, as you can see, it's not that messy in here. And we were doing all the cutting in here. Like, and it was like crazy. We were like uh, machines yesterday. Yeah, we, got our, <laughs> we got our pile of scripts here. Yeah, that's all like <laughs> the cutoffs uh, that, you know, that, that we had to rip off all the, you know, we did all the cutting to length first, and then we ripped each individual piece. And I think there was like 40 <laughs> pieces we had to rip. Uh, so, it, it, or over, no, I think it was 46 pieces we had to literally rip all of it. 
Uh, so that's what we were doing yesterday once we got the one with one window figured out. Uh, and then we just simply made a list right here of all the pieces we need, you know, right there. And then uh, I needed 10. We had to take 10 one by sixes at 34 inches, uh, 20 one by fours at 34, uh, 10 one by fours at 29 and a half, and so on. And here's the apron measurements. That's why this hasn't been crossed off because we have to do this yet. These are, so we have to do 12 aprons at the same size. Uh, and then of course that little one's different. <laughs> so, but uh, these ones are the same width, so we're able to do the uh, apron and top piece casing on these because they're the same width as the, all the other windows, but they're narrower width on the rip there you can see. And then again, we're gonna keep the super wide five and a half inch sill. It might look, uh, you know, out of place, uh, but we we're doing it for a purpose for the kitty cats <laughs> because these windows are low enough for some of the bigger, heavier cats we have to jump up on. <laughs> Stewie being one of them, right? I might still have to put her a little stair there. Yeah, little Stewie, she's pretty big. But then Masseuse is getting huge too. Uh, here's the original plans I did uh, before we even started. And we've held everything to plan here, exactly. So, but that we're gonna hang that up in our uh, shed when we build our shed. Here's the bathroom, we're getting the tub. Uh, plumbing all hooked up. We do have it actually all hooked up. We just kind of stopped because of the carpentry. Yeah, we got to do the shower head and stuff. Yeah, which is already done. We did it, and if you look on this side, uh, we completed it all. We got the drain all hooked up. Uh, we got the uh, P-traps filled with water down there, so it's not going to let the gas escape. And then over here, if you can see on this side, we have the faucet all mounted, ready for the uh, supplies to be hooked up. So it, you know, everything worked out real good. That's why we kept this wall open because we want to run the supplies to the toilet, of course, and the uh, cold water to the toilet and hot and cold to the vanity. And then of course, hook up this uh, uh, laundry setup. So uh, we got the dryer vent all ready to go and hooked up. It goes straight outside here, got outside the, the door. Got the Pull wire product. brought up for the dryer, uh, the, the, you know, the 220. Uh, to the dryer and all that. So, you know, and actually I went under the crawl space to do that the day before yesterday. And it's still really nice down there, nice and clean. And uh, yep. I was glad to see that, even though I still put on my one piece, I got like a one piece suit here uh, that I put on when I go underneath uh, because it, it there is dirt down there. But you can see I got dirt. Uh, and there's not that many spiders, not as many as I thought, because there was like a gazillion when we tore it all out. Oh my god! It was like a haven. Uh, but uh, there wasn't that many down there. Uh, I was really surprised. There's uh, cobwebs, of course, which but there wasn't that many of those either. So, uh, all right, I kind of been yapping away here, but that's how excited we are. So maybe, maybe should we, st um, video's going on 13 minutes here. Should we still go out and see the kitties? Are the kitties out there? Let's see. Oh, look at there's a ding in the drywall from the door. We got to We're gonna. We're gonna put. Yeah, we'll put stuff. There she is. There's Chatty Patty. Hi, sweetie. How you doing? Everybody says hi. Good morning, We got such a, She's such a good girl. We got her belly full. Yeah. Put the washer and dryer out here and covered it with the tarp. Yeah. Did you see crooked tails yet? Yeah, she came up out there at the same time. Oh, okay. Yeah, She's probably sitting on, sitting on the front porch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Usually there's one cat yeah. on the back porch yeah. and one in the front. The go. front porch is kind of funny. <laughs> All right, so well, oh, I hear there somebody. She there she is. I heard, thought I heard her. How you doing, crookeds? Where's she hiding? When she's going towards you when I'm... How you doing, sweetie? Everybody says hi. How you doing, babe? She who has tail that is crooked. <laughs> She's such a good girl. You look real pretty by the flowers. Both of you do. Look so pretty. So anyway, we're glad we got to see the kitties. And, yep. and uh, is there anything else you want to say before we end this video? Just want to say I love you guys and thank you guys for everything you've done for us. And we really appreciate it. And thank you for all your... Uh, donations to help out here with the kitties and stuff and I'll put my um, links 
for the Cash App and the PayPal in the description box below the video. And I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. Okay, so with that, we thank you for watching, and we'll talk at you later. Love you.